Hello guys, um, once again, um, this is Lamin Sane of LSWAT and today we're going to be doing an advanced um, PHP validation tutorial and if you haven't watched my um, simple validation tutorial, go head over to my channel and um, have a brief look, in, look at that because you might need that to be able to follow through to, um, with what we're going to be doing here. So um, here we are, we're actually going to be using the exact um, file so we'll be continuing from where we left off in my last tutorial so if you are lost or uh, as I said uh, previously if you don't know what we're doing just head over and watch the simple um, validation tutorial and you might you will be able to follow um, through with this so okay here we are in the index.php that we had in the in my um, last series of um, validation tutorials so if you remember the last time we actually had just one file to um, where we did our validation that is the index.php so if you know if you go ahead and look at the top of the file we ha actually have um, this errors array and we had validations if lots of if statements doing our validations but I mean this doing way of doing validation is actually simple and straightforward but it's not elegant and it's hard to maintain because imagine if we had lots of fields here say some form can have up to well, 10 to 15 fields so it means we will actually need to have loads and loads of if statements at the top here and that is not very good for maintaining code so in this um, tutorial we're going to be using an object oriented way of um, doing the validation so instead of procedural um, w programming as we're doing here we're actually going to be creating classes and then that's what we're going to be using to do our validation so the first thing we'll go ahead and do is actually strip everything in our if statement here start up until just before the last if statement that does the check for account we'll go we'll go ahead and modify this but we still need this um code block so we'll leave that as it is so basically before we actually start writing our class right there's um what two things i want to bring your attention to so the f and the first thing is we'll have to create an extra file where we'll be storing our class and then we'll include that inside of this file so let's go ahead and create that file right now so we'll go ahead and create a, a folder we'll call it lips okay and inside that folder we'll go ahead and create the actual file that will contain our class so we'll call it validator.php okay so that's done so um this validator PHP will actually be having only PHP inside of this file that is only our class so we'll leave it as it is for now so inside our index.php at the top just before we do a check whether um, the form is a post we're actually going to include our um, validator.php file that we created here we haven't written it but we'll include it now for now so we'll go ahead and say require once because we need this script it's required for our file to work so that's why you use the require if your script won't work without that file so we'll say require once and the name of the file file is it's in the folder lips forward slash validator validator.php yeah that's right okay so inside our if statement here guys um I want to try out a new way of doing programming so it's before we actually went go ahead and write this class here so I want to make sure that we know how we're going to be using the class so basically how I want to be able to use the class is to do something like uh, we'll have a handler which will actually be our handler for our validation so basically what that handler will be is going to be we, we can call it anything so in this case let's just say validator right equals to new and then we'll instantiate our class which we'll be creating soon inside of this validator.php so that class is called validator validator yeah that's right so now that we've instantiated that class this handler here is what we're going to be using inside this if statement code block here to be doing validation so and the first thing that we're going to be doing with that handler is we're going to add a field that we want to validate so we'll say add add field and it will give it the name of the field so if you realize we have the name of our fields um, in the in this form here that we're going to be validating are first name last name email and password so for starters let's just try to validate one field and then if that succeeds we go ahead and validate all the fields 